Hey guys, um, welcome back. Hey, I just had a, uh, I had a request to do a video on uh, um, maintaining a beard and how I trim it and stuff like that. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about my, my routine and my beard care. So the, the way that I trim my beard is I don't use those $30 or $40 clippers that you can buy at Target or Walmart um, at the shopping store. Um, I have a pair of... Uh, hair clippers that I use and these work the best these don't jam up um, I've noticed with the the ones that you buy at the you know the grocery store or, or um, anywhere else that they tend to uh, get dull really fast and just not last that long and uh, <clears throat> I could go through them quite fast if I'm not careful so I spent about 50 bucks on these I'm not sure it's a it's a good brand it's an Oster um, and I really like it. So, so yeah, this is what I use on my beard, and also to shave uh, what remaining hair I have left. Um, so let's get started. So, I usually don't, this This is usually about the length that I keep it, that I like it, but because I'm getting a request to do a beard, I'm going to go ahead and use a blending size blade guard on this, and I'll trim it down significantly, and then um, it's hard to shave your beard when you have a double-edged razor, it's just when your beard's long and you have hair just, you know, um, they're just going everywhere. It's just, it kind of makes it difficult to get a straight line or to get really up and in there. Um, the best way is, you know, knock it down, get it all one length, and then do it um, with your double-edged razor and score it up that way. Um, so, yeah, I usually trim my beard maybe once a month. No, I'm lying, maybe three weeks. Um, the same with my head. I'm not going to shave my head today. I'm going to save that for a different video. So, here we go. My wife must have tripped the GFI. I'll be right back. It was really short. I wasn't expecting to go that that uh that down. But that's all right. Um, as you can see, I got a crisp, clean line that I can work with. Um, now what I do is I take the guard off and put this guard all the way down. That's on the razor itself. And what I do is is I use my razor and I just kind of go around the outside of my lip and get all that. Um, so So when you do that, just be careful because you don't have a guard. If you slip, there's no going back and that's it. All right, guys. Um, so that's it. I'm going to hop in the shower, and I'm going to come back and uh, use a razor, and then go over some um, beard product that I use, and that should be it. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey, guys. I'm back. Um, just got out of the shower. 
got my face hydrated, my beard hydrated. So I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and shave. Now I've been soaking my my badger brush. I've been blooming it, so everything's ready to go. I just need to mix my shaving cream, and we'll have at it. Okay, so I'm new. I'm using a a new feathers blade, and on these, for the first two times that I shave with them, I, I only do two passes. Um, they are that sharp, and so that's really all I need and all my skin can handle. So this is how I shape my sideburns and the top of my beard, and it naturally just circles. So just follow that circle. And then maybe do a clean up shave around it. And then I go from the top and go down. Careful not to hit where you just shaved, just barely go near it. You don't want it to look all screwy. My less dominant side of my face is this is actually harder to the shave because I can't for some reason see it as well. So it's almost like a, a little bit of a guessing game, but pretty close. Maybe a little bit further down. Alright, good. It was pretty even. And then down and dig out that mustache, get that hair away from there, kind of trim it down a bit. Those loose hairs have gone astray. And then do the cheek. Good. Now I do my my lip, or the bottom of my lip. Start on the side. Always go down. Um, I'm really sensitive to this area, so when I go up, um, I start bleeding like a sib. So I never go up, I just go down. Okay, good. Now I'm do my neck. And when I'm doing my neck, I can already see the outline of my beard right here. So it's pretty easy to just follow that line. Get ready for the second pass here. Mix a second bit. Um, put a little bit of water on the brush. Get some clean water in the sink. We're gonna get the extra lather off. Just gonna be on there.
I am done. I'm just going to get all this extra crud off me. And then I can really see what my beard line has done and see how well I did with it. And if I need to do any extra trimming or shaping of it, I will. Really good. <clears throat> All right. I'm seeing some spots that I can go back over. So it's going to go ahead and do. I think I'm pretty good. Um, when you're trimming up, just remember, be extra careful. That is your beard. You don't want to hack into your beard and have to shave it off or, you know, it's a disaster. Don't do it. Just be careful. Um, now I'm just gonna get the excessive hair off my beard mm -hmm. and shave. trim my beard. Now what I do is I have Citrus Premium from the Art of Shaving. It's about $30 a bottle. Um, I use about three drops onto the kind of top of my hands before my fingers. Then I take my Two fingers, kind of rub it in, get it to the top of my fingers, and you know, rub it in against the grain. And I do this once a day, every day. And then get in there, that stuff's really good. Into your goatee area, and then your beard. And now, when I have a, when my beard's longer and I do that, Usually my beard is now poofed up from going against the grain. I take a, it's not out, I don't know where it's at, but I take just a fine um, comb and I just comb it back down. I don't have it, I don't know where it went. My, my daughter may have stole it or something, who knows. That's what happens when you share a bathroom with a couple women. Um, your stuff kind of disappears, but that's okay. Um, and then next, I use aftershave, and I'm using right now. I'm using Dove uh, Dove Men Plus Care Balm. It hydrates really good. Um, it doesn't stain when you put it on, and I just pat it. 
so you don't cause more irritation if you have any. Um, if you don't have sensitive skin, you can just, you know, rub it on. But if you do, I recommend you pat it. So. That's it. Thanks for joining me on this video. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you out to the subscriber that wanted it. Um, if you have any more questions, comment down below. Um, if you just want to comment about the channel or about videos, if you have any tips, ideas, let me know. I'm open for suggestions. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.